Hello. Hi. So you're wondering who we are. We're normal teenagers just like most of you were. But we're different. We're programmers. Hackers. And developers. We're the people who make your everyday life easier by technology. We're the people who work hard to make all these applications that you use on your mobile phones. So here's our story. We have been best friends for about eight years now, since year one. A long time now? Well, yeah. Yeah. We met up in first grade and we shared the same bench in the back of the classroom. I remember we were a hell of a troublemakers. That too, Mohammed, but we really don't need to mention that right now. Okay, back to our presentation. We started programming from a really young age. Yeah, I remember when I was really young, this big, I used to sit on my dad's lap. He used to work on the computer all night and I used to look at him and learn from him. And I remember I spent long hours in front of the computer screens and on late nights. And until one day, my dad just showed up and he told me not to use it because it was bad for my eyesight or something. And I was banned from using it for about a week or so. For me, that's why I'm wearing glasses right now. So one of the reasons why I started programming, that I was given this biography by my father. It's a biography of uh, Paul Allen. Uh, it really talked a lot about him and uh, him and Bill Gates creating Microsoft computers and working hard on it. That biography was great, but I was inspired in a different way. My sixth grade IT teacher gave me this book. It was called Programming with C++, as I can remember. That book, at first, I understood nothing. It had all the plus, equal signs, some brackets, coding words. I took the book and I threw it on the table, and I never looked at it again. But one day, I took that book, grabbed the seat, and started looking at it, and something fell off. It was this CD. It had a software that you can test some programs that you can build on. So I checked it out, and that's how I started programming. We have started programming from a really young age. We've taught ourselves two programming languages. HTML and C++. <laughs> and after that, by a few years, we've taught ourselves other programming languages, including PHP, Python, CSS, <laughs> Java, Ruby, Ruby, C++, and many other programming languages. And now we're fluent in most of them. So I can see some of you are getting bored. Well, not really, but some people are chatting over there. Others are sleeping. So now let's get to the interesting part. But Mohammed, I forgot to mention that we're Apple and Android developers. Oh, yeah. We create and develop applications for Android and Apple devices. And we have applications being processed to the Apple Store and the Android market right now. <laughs> Thank you. Including Blue. So uh, Blue is a flash player uh, browser for a Apple devices. It can be powered only with your voice. So from now on, you wouldn't need to type in anything. The browser can do everything for you. It's a smart browser. Next, we have Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt was our first ever application. It was a simple application with one button. It's set on and off. It's controlled your flashlight on your phone. And next, we have the Beeskill application. This application is connected to our website, Beeskill Movies. That's, we'll get to it later. Uh, you can watch our movies and websites that we upload on to the website anytime you like from your phone. But Mohammed, you forgot to mention about the games. The games is the most important oh, part. Right. And the games, and the games. Maps. So uh, in Hack Sudan, which we joined a few months back, we've thought of many ideas. One of our main ideas was cartoon maps. We've created and developed a map a Google map uh, that specifically works in Khartoum. As many of you know that GPS is not supported in Sudan, so this could, could be really helpful to many of you. <laughs> By 22nd, we got invited to a hackathon. Hack Sudan. 
where we teamed up with two university students to create and develop Miro. Miro is a voice application that works with your computer. You don't need to use your keyboard or mouse anymore. You just talk to your computer. How hard can that be? We've made Mario to be very unique. So you can simply ask it what to do for you. Anything, including? Uh, view a website, open Facebook, paint, anything. Make a note of this, launch this application, search the web for this. It can, it can help you with anything. You just simply ask it to do. And now we're just going to show you a demo version of Miro. What did I ask it to do? Uh. Any ideas? Time, for example. Today is November 9, 2013. And can you tell us the time? It is 2.25 p.m. Uh, we didn't get many commands ready today, but this is just a simple example of Miro. <laughs> so before Miro, we had an even bigger project. On March this year, we started gathering movies and TV shows for our first website. It was called B School Movies. So what is B School Movies? B School Movies is a free a uh, free HD movie website where you can catch up with your latest TV shows and latest uh, movies. Okay, what's different about B School Movies? You see, the internet is filled with other websites about movies and TV shows, but this website is special about one thing it has only HD movies and TV shows. And on other websites, for example, when you're looking for a movie, sometimes they ask for money. And uh, others, the links don't work, but in this website, you only have one link and it's in HD. That's why it's different. <laughs> you only have 180p videos. 180p videos. So, say, like, why do you think B School Movies is good? Okay, because I like to catch up with my latest movies on. Who of you, uh, which one? Which one would go on this website? I honestly will. I would go. Uh, and we mentioned earlier that we're hackers, isn't that right? Okay, that's getting creepy. Yes. <laughs> we're not these type of hackers. These type of hackers. We're the good guys, actually. We're not the bad guys. As many of you, th when we said the word hackers, Many of you got scared of us, isn't that right? So we're not the bad hackers. We actually do good. We try to breach systems to find vulnerabilities and make the system even stronger. Okay, we started developing, or not hacking, developing systems, security systems, because honestly, we got hacked before. And that wasn't a good thing. You see, some of your personal stuff are lost. Others are just mixed and jumbled around in your PC. So that's why we're trying to make security systems even better, stronger, and simple to use. Yeah, because you know if you get hacked, you lose a lot of your, of your information. We don't want to get hacked again because we have a lot of projects that we're working on and we don't want to lose any of the files or anybody to steal our files and say that it's theirs. Okay. What is our message? Our message is, we want more people to start programming. Young people like our age. It's not, sim it's not that hard. It's simple. It's not rocket science or anything. You can type simple codes, make a software, program, application, a website. It's not difficult. That's why, we, we, one of the reasons why we want teens to start to program is that over the next 20 years, the only jobs that are going to be available are going to be computer-based and mainly focusing on programming. 
So we're trying to build the future jobs for the, for the team. Okay, now some of you are thinking, how can we start? Where, can, where should we head to to start? And that's why we're developing a social network to help you guys to code. It's going to be called Social Network. It's a code network. It's really easy to use this social network because you can simply just log on and then start learning a programming language like C++ from professors that want to teach other people around the world and share their knowledge. It will be easy and simple to use. You just need to log in, choose uh, any programming language that you want to use, and uh, we'll be very glad to help you and other people from all around the world. Our message again? Our message is, we did it. So can you. Thank you.